We do begin tonight with some breaking news. Just moments ago, the East Baton Rouge Metro, Metro Council voting in favor to offer a $4.5 million settlement to the family members of Alton Sterling. 544's Kennedy Walker joins us live now from tonight's Metro Council meeting with the latest. Kennedy? Hey, uh, Kellyanne, Chad, yes, it's been a long five years. It was just five years ago when Alton Sterling was killed in East Baton Rouge at the hands of a police officer. But finally tonight, just moments ago, the Metro Council voted to give Sterling's family $4.5 million. Now that case is scheduled to go to trial next month. It's not clear if the family will accept this new settlement offer. Sterling, like I said, like how I said, Sterling was killed in 2016 by a Baton Rouge police police officer sparking national protests. Tonight, the Metro Council members say they're happy they were finally able to agree. I thought that it was um, the best considering all. Let's keep in mind that we cannot put an amount on a person's life, but this has gone on and on long enough. Myself and a lot of people in this city you know, took to the streets in outrage and protest to Mr. Sterling being killed at the hands of BRPD. And uh, we want to hold our city government accountable. We want to And that wasn't the only big vote tonight. Uh, the council also approving development plans for a new warehouse to be built at the old Cortana Mall, according to the Parish Planning Commission. Um, industrial Properties plans to develop the property. Multiple reports have linked that company to Amazon, hinting a distribution center is coming to the capital city. The Metro Council voted to defer parish taxes for the next 10 years. Instead, they'll pay all 100% of school taxes and guarantee at at least 1,000 new jobs. For more information on the Metro Council meeting, you can head over to our website. That's brproud.com. Reporting live in Baton Rouge, Kennedy Walker, back to you.